Cray, one of the latest movies from Blumhouse, is all about our main character of Toby, this young man who would rather just lie about and play in his mobile than uh, share a hobby with his father. They have that relationship and when something happens to his father within the first minute or so of the movie, he is left wondering about his choices. We jump a period of time to he is in some sort of self-help group type of scenario where he has been taught survival skills and as part of this group that he's in, he's going to be taken to an island and left to survive, fend for himself for three days. There's a group of these kids all getting dropped off at various islands. His just uh, is, as he's told, is uninhabited. It's just a small island where he can be one with nature for a couple of days, try to deal with any kind of traumas that he has, and then get picked up and move on with his life. But it wouldn't be much of a movie if that's all that happened. No, when he's on there, he discovers that there is something else on the island with him. He discovers this girl called Madeline, who he kind of creates a connection with. She's obviously been on the island for a long period of time. She has these uh, fantastic survival skills. She knows how to look after him and kind of helps him when he is a little bit incompetent and loses all of his equipment fairly early on from getting on the island. And they kind of start to build this relationship. Of course, until there is the turn of the screw when we meet Madeline's mother and things become a little bit more murderous. And that's pretty much the entire story. Now... I'm always kind of interested in these Blumhouse movies because they're usually low budget, they're usually you know minimal cast, and they're usually rather inventive. Unfortunately, the problem with Prey is it was rather tedious and boring. The characters that we have are fairly uninteresting. Like the Toby, our, our main character who we meet at the start, we instantly get thrown into this character who's just a lazy layabout, who's playing on his mobile rather than actually doing stuff with his father. When something happens to his father, we have no sympathy for him because he just seems like a, an uninteresting character. And throughout the rest of the movie, we never really get any growth of that character. When he first gets to the island, he's completely incompetent, unable to do anything. And by the time we jump a few days later, he is almost like Rambo, the way he can construct stuff or just completely the, and get these survival skills from nowhere that he didn't have a couple of days earlier. We get the plot story of Madeline and her mother and why they're on the island, what happened to them, and we get this supernatural element pushed into the centre of it as well, but they just don't care. It's not that interesting. The relationships within the movie haven't been built up enough to really make us care about any of the characters, and it becomes a rather dull, formulaic battle with the monster at the end of the movie, which is underwhelming. They try to do a cool little sucker punch at the end of the movie as well that just left me rolling my eyes going, really? That's where you want to go with the, the story? Okay. It just It's one of those kind of movies that was unfulfilling, that left me kind of empty, that made me check my watch. And this was a quick movie at 85 minutes, including credits, and I still felt as if it went on way too long. The main character of Toby I wasn't engaged with. Madeline was a little bit more interesting, but what they do with that character made it extremely dull, trite and formulaic, much like the rest of the movie. I didn't have much time for Prey. I, I didn't find it that stunning to look at. I didn't find that interesting a story. The twists and turns that come just seemed meandering and, and unimportant. It's a three-cast uh, kind of movie with just those main players and you can kind of see where it's going to go. And if you can't, you're, well, generally uninterested anyway. Pray for me. The kind of thing I would miss, if it's on Netflix or that and you're really struggling for something to watch, then give it a chance. But do not spend any hard-earned money on this. I think you'll be disappointed. If you've seen Pray, let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on the movie. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.